Hello. Today, I'm going to be drawing a Miramica Spatulata ant. The photo is by James Rubin. Shout out to him. Thanks for uh, taking this awesome photo. So, uh, when I start out these videos, I always establish a gesture first. <coughs> and I'll show you what I mean by that. So, ants have a head, of course. Actually, let me... Oh, and another thing, I just wanted to say when I uh, do gesture, I try to focus on either straight lines, C curves, S curves, an ellipse, or maybe like a shape of some sort. And um, I'll show you how I break it down. And I try to like encapsulate everything. So an ant is an insect and it has uh, a head. It has uh, a thorax, which is interesting here because it's, uh, it's a bit more bean shaped is kind of what I'm seeing. And it kind of tapers out a little bit near the end. I'm going to do that again. I'm trying to think the best way to do it. Because, like, the, uh, the abdomen's kind of in the back. And I think this whole thing... The thorax is very interestingly shaped for an ant. I'm trying to think of the best way to uh, attach it. I think I'm going to try to attach it in a couple lines, and I'll show you what I do. Because it's it's kind of like, right if you look where my, where my mouse cursor is, the initial shape kind of looks a bit like a, a heart shape, then it kind of tapers out. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing of the uh, thorax. <coughs> mm. And the interesting thing here is that the abdomen, like I'm, I, I must say that probably those two ball things are a continuation of the uh, thorax. So I'm gonna draw them, but I'm gonna draw a line. Hurry up now, I'll, I'll attach them. I'm trying to think. I'm also trying to think of the uh, the scale. It's kind of like based on our perspective. The first one is a bit. Yeah. It's a bit smaller than the other one. And uh, if you look closely to where I'm drawing, I'm trying to ghost my line. When I say that, it's kind of like practicing without drawing. And then the next ball is a bit larger, but perhaps that is just a perspective issue. I think that's a bit too large. And the problem I made here is it's not really connected, but looking at the reference again, it's interesting because it is kind of like there's a little bit of gap space kind of like connecting it. Kind of like that but i'll show you i'm going to draw uh smaller connection lines going uh, going across the uh spheres and i guess that glue kind of makes things a bit more complicated because it does kind of just go in when it really should be more like that kind of like that and now for the uh abdomen which is like another ball and I'm not sure if this ant has a uh, stinger. It's hard to tell. I should Google it real quick. But basically, a lot of ants are, I'm guessing they all are, descendants of uh, like hornets or like vespoids, I believe would be the technical term. 
So a lot of them will have uh, stingers. Not all, but a good deal. If you think of like fire ants, I believe they have a stinger on their uh, abdomen back. And I'm also seeing like a bit of a, I'm seeing something. Eh, it's probably bad for me to take a guess. I'm gonna Google it real quick. If spatula. If they have a stinger. <coughs> yeah, they do. I believe they do. But we really can't see it based on our uh, perspective. Yeah, interesting. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but I'm going to keep going on. So uh, I'm trying to connect another uh, ellipse, kind of showing the flow of our uh, ant. So the other important thing here is if you look at our reference, well, on the end, uh, there is like, you know, the abdomen isn't just a ball. It kind of has additional structure to it. But you know what? I'm sorry, I keep jumping ahead. There's just a lot of variables I'm trying to uh, keep track of. So I'm still going to establish some gestural lines real quick. And when I say that, I'm gonna get like the antennas first and I'm going to draw a line to uh, represent them. And I'm trying to keep in mind, uh, the length of them in per like in perspective to one another. And you could see them, it's really interesting. There's like the attachment is like a bit of an ellipse. Well, kind of like that. So now for the uh, legs, which are all attached to the thorax here. And I want to uh, space them properly. They're all actually, actually all a bit close together, which it would be cool if we could um, see the opposite side. Uh, you know what? Okay, the interesting thing here it's like I'm trying to look at the the shape, which, like I said, it's kind of like a weird bean-like shape. Kind of like that. And the legs are kind of like all going a, a different direction. And I kind of had to do this a few times. I'm going to start with the back legs because I feel like they're a bit easier to uh, get down. Right now I'm just uh, putting the initial pilot holes. And all of her legs, like the the left three legs are pretty visible. The other ones are a bit um, obscured based on how the ant is uh, placed. But we could like kind of assume it's a bit, like we can kind of assume how it's flowing out, even though we can't see all of it. Um, Kind of like that for that leg. That's like the gestural flow line that I'm seeing. For this leg, it kind of like. No, I should make that the same. Kind of like that. Should be less room on that one. Kind of like that. 
it has its back leg extended a bit further than these two legs. And that, you know, the other important thing is I want to see like <coughs> its uh, right back leg is kind of obscured by like the ball here and the uh, abdomen here. So I want to keep that in mind when I uh, draw that line. Because I think the important thing to always try to aim for is to be as, as close to reality as possible. Now that I look at it again, I think I could have gone out a little bit further. Like a bit like that. I think that's good for that leg. Uh, that leg kind of like, it's kind of like going in on itself and it's obscured based on the perspective. You know, when I say this, I don't mean to be insulting uh, the image. When you draw a lot of bugs, more often than not, it's really difficult to get a full uh, view of like every piece of them just because of how they uh, sit. And obviously it's gonna kind of like go under even though it's a bit obscured. But yeah, it's always a bit difficult to uh, get the full story just because of how they are. But okay, at this point, I've established the main gesture of the uh, Miramica, Miramica Spatulata ant. <coughs> and at this point, I'm going to start adding the uh, structure that I see of the ant. And I'll explain it all as I go. And uh, yeah, it's really interesting. This ant has a lot of, a lot of different interesting shapes. Like, I'm trying to think where to start. I think if I'm gonna start anywhere, I kind of want to start with the, uh, it's like pincers, it's mouth pincers. This is not a leaf cutting ant, but if you ever look at a leaf cutting ant, they kind of have uh, those chompers to uh, bite stuff, which I believe, I believe ants will also bite in addition to uh, to stinging. So what I'm seeing, I think I made it a bit too long. Oops. I should be drawing on the structure layer. Uh, I'm seeing like a form that kind of goes like that. And I want to show how it wraps around the uh, ball or the ball of the head. And it's kind of like this additional form. So maybe I'll start with like, kind of like that. I'm trying to show how it's uh, it's attached to the form ball of the head. It's not just it's not like a separate piece. It's all inlaid on it, and it's interesting because it kind of gets it's just a little bit under the antenna. So it all kind of flows like a puzzle. It's hard to see, but I do see like a very small gap. And that gap is just like, I guess, where it could open it and close it if it needs to. Um, the head. The head is a very interesting shape. It kind of like has these two bulges, kind of like that, starting at the back, that kind of make it like a bit more square and less uh, circle-like. And that also attaches to the head. Now the eyes are really interesting because we're seeing like two different uh, perspectives here. They're kind of like a half of a sphere. Like if you think of like a, a sphere, if you could picture it like that, if I could draw some uh, ellipses through it. But if I did that, it's kind of like if I was to cut it in half kind of like that, if maybe like a like a contact lens, if you think of it like that. And they're interesting because they're kind of like, well, of course they're inlaid, but uh, I'll show you. And actually, I think the way I'm going to handle that, oops, they're a bit small and they're kind of a bit, they're not too far away from the antenna. They're relatively close, like about right there. 
And that's kind of how it's uh, inset, but it also kind of bulges out, like ever so slightly, if you could, uh, if you look close at the reference. And the interesting thing is, I think it's easier to see it on the other one, like more, <laughs> I think more than anything, it's actually a ball that's uh, inset into the ant head. But I was, uh, I drew an ellipse to attach it, but you very well could draw a ball that kind of just like tacks on because that other one is uh it's it looks like it's close to the leg but it's it's inset in there of a rant okay so at this point i want to uh, i want to jump to the i want to jump to the uh <laughs> The abdomen right over here the reason why i want to jump to the abdomen is because i established the initial uh ball i keep thinking maybe i should have made it a bit larger but maybe it's good with what i did with it it's a it's a very weird form based on the perspective because i think you know ants kind of have like it's like uh it's like a well if you've looked at the abdomen of an ant it kind of looks a bit like a teardrop but the end of it is a bit sharper and I wanted to fit that in and I don't know what that little form is it's really hard for me to tell if it's maybe just uh hair but yeah overall our ant is uh he's a bit smooth overall I do see some like striations on like the head and the uh thorax it's really hard to tell exactly what they are I may not delve into that because that's more uh detail but I think I'm gonna start working on the antenna and I want to tell you this, uh, when you do run into an image and if it does look a little blurred, you could try to inform, like, it would be good if you looked at another image, but like, I could see the other antenna and it kind of like, it tells me a little bit about, about it, that like the initial form, uh, up to like this exact point, if you see where my mouse cursor is, it's kind of like this, uh, small bean shape. So... It's kind of like a tapering bean shape. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. And uh, over here, it goes a little bit far out. Not too far out, but yeah. It's a bit hard to uh, draw such small details. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should have drawn this ant a little larger but I guess you don't know until you're there. Yeah, tapers as it gets to that connection point and it's inset in that those uh, connection points. And the interesting thing here is uh, I could kind of count it out how many of these uh, <clears throat> individual shapes you get until you eventually uh, get to the end, which kind of looks like really a bit sharper for its uh, feelers. Let's see, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About twelve of these uh, smaller little balls. But the important thing to know is that they're all connected to that initial uh, gesture line that I drew. And, um, you know, it's important to think of them as, as like one thing. Um, let's see, I'm going to see if I can fit in 12. Four, five. I should have also been attaching to that. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And the interesting thing is, uh, I think the, la the last three also look a bit larger. It possibly may be a perspective distortion, but I'm beginning to think that maybe the end parts are a bit larger. Like it kind of gets a bit thin in the middle and it kind of gets wider near the end. So that ball I just drew should have been a little bit larger. And I should have one more after that. And the like, like I said, the end kind of uh, thins out. It's kind of a bit sharp shaped.
kind of like that. <coughs> so it's like nine small ones, then two big ones, then like a triangular shaped one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it gets a little bit larger, 10, 11, 12, and it kinda, I, I think I made that ending piece in Tana a little bit too long, but maybe it kinda looks a bit longer based on the uh, perspective. So that last piece kinda goes in a little bit, wraps around. The other thing I'm noticing is, uh, maybe I didn't get it, clear enough but like that that first piece it kind of like bulges out a little bit so I think including that is a bit important to the overall uh, ant so I wanted to look again at the uh, thorax the thorax it has these uh, connecting points and I think I should like they kind of like wrap around the ball form as it goes it's kind of like an intermediate era and I want to I want to kind of I wanted to like connect it to that to show that you that like these gaps like don't really exist. There's like a little bit of a, uh, I don't know if it would be considered cartilage. It's kind of what I'm thinking, but I think that side is good. So yeah, alrighty. Now I'm gonna do the legs. Or actually, you know what? I keep thinking about the, uh, the headpiece, right? The structure goes in, but for some reason, I keep seeing, like, I keep thinking of, like, a box that kind of goes around it. I may just be making this up of how it all connects, but to me, I'm kind of seeing, like, that form and it kind of, like, goes. I don't know why I'm seeing it. I may just be seeing nothing, <laughs> but I'm trying to think of how that, uh, that heart shaped, it's more like a box. That box shaped form kind of uh, attaches to the head of the ant. But I think I'm gonna leave that part out because I think it's kind of adding a bit of extraneous detail. Okay, but now I'm gonna go to the leg. Uh, the first leg, like I said, it's a bit obscured to a certain extent because um, it's under the ant, or maybe it's just a bit visible to see based on the perspective. And I'm seeing a bit of a sharp shape. I wanted to kind of like attach it. That's what I'm seeing. Maybe it should have bulged out a little bit there and it should have been a bit rounder here. And then it gets a bit obscured by our ant. So now the front, I'm going to do the front left leg, this leg right here. It starts out really thin, then it kind of gets a bit uh, thicker. So I think what I'm going to do is, you know, it's kind of, I'm kind of like trying to base it near the eye for that, like where I want to put the initial cap. Like about here. And it kind of thins out, it gets thicker, really thins out. And if there's an under attachment, we're not seeing that initial stubby part, but it kind of looks like there's a stubby part that begins every leg. So I drew that initial one, and now I kind of want to make it go tapering, kind of like that. And then this section is interesting because it's like a, it's a weird shape. No, it's kind of like that, but I'm going to do that again. Yeah, it's hard for me to tell what type of thing that is. It's something. <laughs> but yeah, it like tapers out a bit. Yeah, and it attaches, of course, to that leg. Um, at this point, the shape I'm seeing like maybe two more shapes it may have like those smaller uh, triangular shapes 
the kind of that I've seen on a lot of uh, different insects. I wish I knew the name of those things, whatever they are, but it looks a bit continuous to me. I don't know if I should break it up, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to try to connect it. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. And I just keep thinking like every insect like usually has those two claw-like things that attach to the form so it can uh, grip different surfaces like logs and leaves and not fall off. Although I am kind of jumping to conclusions on that end part. Okay, now I want to do the right middle leg, which it's a little bit obscured. Um, I want to draw like the flat part that I'm seeing first, and it kind of goes a bit like that, attaches, kind of like that. Now it's a bit obscured, I'm kind of just winging it, because it looks a bit like just like another folding like it's kind of clear that like at this part it's kind of folding in on itself and there's a portion of the leg we just can't see because of the perspective now i'm going to do the left middle leg the interesting thing here is that uh even the first left leg we really couldn't see this uh stumpy part but i'm seeing like a, a stumpy initial part which is interesting because it's kind of like a initial form that's attached to uh the uh, thorax. <coughs> so I'm also seeing like a, a small part here. It looks a bit diamond shaped. And then it kind of like scoops out. Kind of like it scoops out kind of like that. Then caps off and thins. I think it's a bit like that. I guess I'll start at the capped off part first. Kind of like that. I maybe you should maybe I should have thinned it out the closer it got. But it's kind of like that. Now I'm seeing this uh almost roundish form that kind of tapers off initially. And now I'm seeing now I am seeing like a, a really extremely thin shape. And I think it goes to about about there. It's thin like a matchstick, but I don't think I did that curve right. to the extent that I wanted it to. I think it even curves a little bit more, like it's a bit too straight. So I'm gonna try that again. But like then I don't like it from that way. It's too thick. Yeah, I think thin like that. I think that kind of works. Then it kind of, then it kind of like does a bit that. kind of like that and then you have the two gripping things already at this point I'm going to I'm going to do the back right leg the farthest one and the interesting thing about that is I'm kind of seeing like these two plane changes like I see a plane change there and I see like another plane change there and then it's kind of like a little bit thicker there and it kind of tapers out near the end even though it's a little bit obscured I could see some of it okay 
The other thing is I'm seeing that initial part that's a little bit thin, kind of almost going to the second ball. A bit of a tapering is what I would say. Connects to the ball, then it kind of gets a bit wider as you go. Um, I feel like it's going kind of like now. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. I'm seeing that. Kind of that. Alrighty, I think I covered that leg, right? Oh, the other interesting thing here, I see two things here that I didn't see before. I'm not exactly sure what they are. They kind of look like, I, I, I don't know, I don't think it's hair, but I'm seeing, like you see it here where my mouse is? They kind of look like they're attached to the body and they're kind of like an additional uh, form on top. And I really don't know what they are. But they're very thin. I'm not sure if it's maybe additional structure that I may have missed, but they kind of go around that form. I'm not sure if maybe it holds it together in some way, or if it's somehow like insect armor, but I am seeing that. Okay, now I want to get the back left leg. So I see the initial uh, stumpy part, and it kind of goes about halfway through that, through this ball here. It's very stumpy. It's kind of like that. Then you have the thin part that kind of like goes like that or goes like that. Kind of like that. I want to predict where the, where the, like the little cap here just as a way to compare it. And I think it kind of goes like right where the end of the uh, abdomen goes. Like about here. That's what I'm seeing. So it kind of like starts, it attaches to that part. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. And we got that part covered. Now there's like a tapering piece that's a bit like a teardrop. And now that I look at the uh, gesture I did of my leg, I think I, I think I should have kept it more like that. And actually, I think I should have kept it more like that and that rather than what I or originally did. But I think I'm gonna try to do this little piece here first. Now it should be a bit more straight. Kind of like that, and I think, yeah, I know I'm changing what I originally planned through that gesture, but I guess I make a couple mistakes every once in a while with how I uh, do that leg. But it's a very thin stick, and we I've seen that time and time again. It's very thin. like that. I probably made it way too thick. And then uh, the last part of the leg kind of like curves a bit like that. A bit like that. And obviously you're going to have those two little claws. I mean, not obviously, but from what I've seen. So at this point you have uh, the ant. You could always go a step further if you wanted to uh, get the detail, which I do think is important. But I want to step back to the head again, in which I kind of, I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not making it up, but I see the head kind of in two sections. And I think uh, my previous thought about how there was kind of like a structure that connects the antenna is actually there. Like there's some type of structure that 
connects them together. And the other thing is uh, near the antenna, I'm kind of seeing a bit of a, maybe a bulbous form. Maybe that's the initial connecting antenna piece. And the other interesting thing here is when I look at the eye, I feel like it kind of like dips up a little before it connects to it. But yeah, if you want to go into uh, detail, I'll leave it up to you. Uh, but I see like striations on the body or on the head, on the thorax, on these balls here, not on the uh, abdomen. The abdomen, I see a good deal of like hair, which is uh, really interesting. I mean, I guess I see hair on that ball too, which is really intriguing. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of it is. I'm guessing it's to detect if it's being touched at all in one way or another. But yeah, there is so much hair on this guy on the uh, abdomen. But yeah, I'll leave that exercise up to you if you're interested in it. I mean, I feel like I can do more with it now, but I don't want to uh, waste your time anyway. But uh, yeah, thanks again to James Rebin for this amazing picture of an ant. Uh, if you like my YouTube channel, please subscribe. If you have a question, please uh, leave it in the comments. But I guess I'll try to draw a little more of the hair. I mean, you can really go far into this. It's just got so much hair. Oh, another tip, if you do want to uh, draw hair. I was originally drawing with a uh, four, I'm not really sure what that means, but the thickness, I'm not sure if that means four, uh, four millimeter. It's hard for me to tell. But uh, you could always pick a thinner, finer line to do the hair. I feel like that kind of gets the effect uh, that you want to do. But you should also be wary if you have pen pressure on. Because I feel like the harder you press, the more it may attract attention. And maybe that's not your uh, goal. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you very much for listening if you uh, listened to it all the way through. Or even if you didn't, you skipped around. Uh, to the parts that you wanted to cover. But yeah, thanks. And I hope you have a great daytime, whatever it is, wherever you are. <laughs> Bye.